Thanks, Dominique. On March 2nd, the Hospice of the Piedmont is hosting an event that teaches people in the Charlottesville area how to have hard conversations at the end of life. NBC 29's Bria Stith talked to the Hospice of the Piedmont's chief medical officer about the importance of these conversations. Bria? Death can be a very scary topic, but the Hospice of the Piedmont says end of life planning is one of the most needed conversations you can have, whether it's for yourself or a loved one. The vast majority of people are reluctant to have these conversations. But Dr. Tim Short, who is the chief medical officer at the Hospice of the Piedmont, says... It means you're normal. Dr. Short has nearly 40 years of medical and palliative care experience. He says for many, approaching death is transformative. When you get close to the end of life, really you get clarity around what's important now and what's no longer important. He says because of this, end of life planning is a must. Make a date, set a date, put intention into it and get the right people around the table other family members, etc. So you're all on the same page. Dr. Short says he's done hundreds of end of life conversations with families, but it's very different when it's your own. And when you're sitting with your siblings talking about what your mom's wishes are, it's a very different phenomenon. As much as I've done this and been trained in this, when it's close to home like that, the emotion can take over. The upcoming presentation on March 2nd will help individuals get through tough conversations with their loved ones. It's a focus on living whatever days you have left and promoting the best quality of life. He says hospice care is connected because it fosters hope. It's an ongoing dialogue about how can we serve your needs best. And it's not just the patient, it's the whole family's needs. Dr. Short will be speaking about hard conversations at the end of life at Unity of Charlottesville on March 2nd. He says anybody with a serious illness or caring for someone with a serious illness will benefit from this presentation. Live in the studio, Bria Stith, NBC 29 News at 6.